Okay, you the girl you can't ignore, yet she's still unseen. Yeah, I can't. Yes. 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 And I can still ignore you. And I can still see you. Thank you. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. She's going to the toilet. You know what? There was really so much happening in this table last night. So many things happened at the same time, which also confuses me of which to begin with which to ignore and not talk about and what to talk about but yeah i will try to you know explain everything accordingly so you guys can at least understand what was going on by the way guys welcome back to life updates with t thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for joining me if you are new to this channel you are definitely welcome if you are someone who's who has a an interest in Big Brother Mzansi or who loves, you know, being updated a bit about Big Brother Mzansi, you are definitely in the right place. You are not lost at all. Okay. So now, guys, please also do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, watch my ads, and just, you know, basically do the most over there. Now, let's get straight to the video before wasting any more of your time. Okay, so what was happening here is that... Okay, let me just try and give you guys a background story so you guys understand. Yeah? So during their wager task, everyone was doing things individually. They wanted to do... Okay, they chose to do whatever it is that they wanted to do. And um, when it was Liema's turn, I think Liema sang, danced, painted, and also recited a poem that she wrote herself. I remember at some point she said with Meg Junior and Meg Junior helped her here and there, you know, but uh, she wrote it herself. And um, I realized that maybe Mpumi was not happy about Liema's poem, about what was said on that poem, because um, Liema said something along the lines, um, I am Liam Ponzi and Big Brother Mzansi season four wouldn't exist without Liema. And she also mentioned something like, um, I am Liam Ponzi, the girl you cannot ignore. Yeah, not exactly like that, but some way along the line. So while they were chilling after the pool party, everyone was just drunk. Bumi was like, who wrote that poem? And... Liema responded by telling her that, no, it's Liema Pansy, the girl you cannot ignore. And then Bumi was like, uh, me, I can see you and still ignore you, you know. Well, 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 I didn't know where that was coming from. And I feel like the reason she asked about that poem, she wanted to get to that point of telling her that, okay, you know what, I had your poem but still, you're not as important as you think you are. And honestly speaking, I don't know what her problem is because that was just her poem. That was Liema's poem that she wrote for herself, right? She wanted to write, recite herself. And all I can say is, is that that poem really, really gave confidence. It really, you know, it was giving, yeah, I'm confident because... I don't, I don't feel like if you're not confident, you would write something like that. So I really feel... And there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing. Like the problem here is when you have a problem with, some, with what someone wrote about themselves. And that was what Mbumi was going through at that point in time. She had an issue with what Liema wrote about herself. I didn't know or understand why. And also... Just a few minutes before all of this was happening, Ghost tried and hinted at Mbumi that um, Mbumi, just go take a shower and and be in your PJs like everybody else. You know, everyone here has freshened up. Even if they didn't take a shower, but at least they've changed, they've cleansed, like they made sure that they clean and they're in their PJs, and you're the only one here left with your bikini. 
I don't think she got the message because still she continued chilling over there with the bikini that she had during the pool party. And wow, Bumi was busy dragging Liema. Sinai did something. If you watched that clip that I had included at the beginning, you will definitely have noticed that Sinai started sniffing Liema. And then after a few seconds, he said, oh, you smell so good. And honestly speaking, I feel like that was also a hint just to, because Mbumi was the one talking and facing Liema. And I really feel like maybe Sinai was also hinting Mbumi that, okay, you know what, we need to go freshen up. The reason I'm mentioning all of these things is because, you know what, I've been sympathizing with Mbumi and his situation about the body order st- about the body order stuff and you know the topic that has been going on but also we need to be very honest with some things and honestly speaking it's it's not okay what she's doing we understand that you have a problem you have an issue You know, you have been going through that ever since childhood and stuff. But why are you not doing anything to help yourself? By saying that, I'm not saying that she she didn't go to doctors and stuff. Obviously, she did because she did mention during her her argument with Yolanda that she tried, you know, going to several doctors, try, try finding different means to get assisted but still she failed but now why is she not bathing when everyone takes a shower why 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 is she still in her bikini when everybody else have changed and they freshened up and they're wearing something else and they're not wearing the same things that they were wearing during the pool party why honestly it's wrong it is definitely wrong. And considering the fact that the guys also tried giving her hints to go clean up herself and still she didn't take it serious or maybe she didn't hear or maybe she, I don't know, ne? but yeah, some, 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 some things, ne? we cannot, we cannot try and, and justify for instance, this one, I tried justifying, you know, her situation before, ever since hearing that she has an issue and this is something that she's been going through. But right now, it's like, okay, why is it that you're still in that very same costume when everybody has changed and you are there sitting with everyone in the table, seeing everyone, you know, clean and in different clothes that they were wearing an hour ago? So yeah, I I I really don't understand or why she does this or what she needs or who can tell her to, you know, to frequently take a bath for her to smell better. I don't know. And this is not a shade, guys. It's really calls for concern, honestly speaking. It is because if you know that you have a situation, take care of yourself enough so people don't get to you know notice your problem or your situation but yeah that's just it for me thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for stopping by do let me know in the comment section what you think about all of this i'll definitely see you guys later for now do take care bye